Hi everyone, my name is Eric Lindgren. This is our paper Experimental Design for Cost-Aware Learning of Causal Graphs. This is joint work with Marat Kojalu, Alex Damakis, and Sriram Vishwanath. We will do a quick introduction to Perl's causal model. So Perl defined the structured equation model. Let's look at an example to see how this model works. So first, some noise variables ex, ey, and ez are created independently. In step one, x is set to be a deterministic function of its noise variable ex. y is set to be a deterministic function of x and its noise variable ey. Then z is set to be a deterministic function of y and its noise variable ez. Now since y is a function of x, we say that x causes y. And since z is a function of y, we say that y causes z. We can represent these functions graphically using a causal graph, which is a directed and acyclic graph. In this graph, if x points to y, we say that x causes y. The structured equation model is interesting when we consider interventions. Interventions force a variable to take a certain value. Now suppose we intervene on y. We force y to be equal to 10. In step 1, x is still a deterministic function of its noise variable, ex. In step 2, y is equal to 10 because we forced y to be equal to 10. In step 3, z is still a function of y and its noise variable ez. Now note that intervening on y has an effect on z, but it does not have an effect on x. This is because y causes z, but y does not cause x. In this work, we consider learning causal graphs. We start out receiving samples from the causal model. Now using conditional independence tests, which check if two variables are independent conditioned on some other set of variables, we can learn the existence of edges, the direction of edges that make up a certain structure called an immorality, and additional edges by applying what are called Meeks rules. The remaining undirected component of the graph is always a chordal graph, which is a special type of graph. To learn the rest of the graph, we need to perform interventions. Intervening on a set of vertices guarantees learning all the edges cut by the intervention set. Suppose we intervene on the vertices x1, x2, and x3. We are guaranteed to learn the direction of the edges cut by these vertices, which are the edges that are between an orange vertex and a blue vertex. In the worst case, we may not learn the other edges. In practice, some variables may be easier to intervene on due to things such as material cost, in this work, we consider the minimum cost intervention design problem. Here, every variable has a weight wi, and the cost intervene on a set of variables is the sum of the variable weights. Our goal is to learn the direction of all the edges in the graph with a budget of m interventions, which means that every edge should be cut by at least one intervention. Our first result is that the minimum cost intervention design problem is NP-hard. This means we should not expect to be able to solve this problem exactly. We thus consider approximations for the problem. We first go over the color and perspective on intervention design. Given a graph and some intervention design, we represent the intervention design with a table, where the rows correspond to variables and the columns correspond to interventions. We use a binary value to denote whether a variable is involved in some intervention. For an intervention design to be valid, it must be that for every pair of variables connected by an edge, there is some intervention where one is involved and the other is not. Otherwise, this edge would never be cut. This corresponds to a proper coloring of the graph, where the colors are represented by binary vectors. Each color has a weight, which is the sum of the elements of this vector. We will thus consider the minimum cost intervention design problem as a special weighted coloring problem. Every intervention design can be converted to a proper coloring, and vice versa. Each color is represented by a binary vector. The weight of a color is the sum of the entries of this vector. The cost of coloring a vertex is the product of the vertex weight and the color weight, and the total cost of a coloring is the cost to color all the vertices. We will use this perspective when creating algorithms for the minimum cost intervention design problem. Since the graph is chordal, we can find the maximum weight independent set in linear time. We'll thus consider the greedy algorithm by Kojialu et al. So we'll find the maximum weighted independent set in the graph, we'll color it with the cheapest available color, 
We'll remove these vertices from the graph and we'll repeat until all vertices are colored. We'll find the maximum weight independent set of the graph and we'll color these vertices with the color 0, 0, which has weight 0. We'll then find the maximum weight independent set of the remaining vertices of the graph and we'll color these vertices with the color 1, 0, which has weight 1. We'll color the remaining vertices of the graph with the weight 0, 1, which has weight 1. If we needed to, we could also use the color 1, 1, which has weight 2. Our next theorem is an approximation guarantee for the quantized greedy algorithm, which is the variant of the greedy algorithm. We show that if the number of allowed interventions m is greater than or equal to log chi plus order log log n, then the quantized greedy algorithm is a 2 plus epsilon approximation algorithm. We note that if m is less than log chi, then there are no feasible solutions to the problem. Our proof uses techniques from submodular optimization. 